Welcome back. Okay, well, here we are. Yesterday, it was 112 degrees out there. The sun is scorching, and it's supposed to be 108 today. So my question to you is, are you protecting your skin? I hope so, because you want to know why? I've got Dr. Kenneth Luke joining us this morning. He's a radiation oncologist with Arizona Oncology, and we're talking about skin cancer prevention this morning and treatment. So good morning. Good morning to you. You know, I heard, <laughs> I don't know if this is a, a good statist a statistic for us, but Arizona ranks number two in the country behind Florida when it comes to skin cancer. And it's just, you know, 108 today. How can we protect ourselves from the sun? Right. If we're not careful, we may be number one. Yeah, great. S skin cancer is <laughs> the most common cancer that we have uh, because skin is the biggest organ and we are constantly exposed to this beautiful sunlight that we have. Mm -hmm. And with the culture, they said that we look good when we are darkly tan and so they push people to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, we need to be more careful about sun because our sun light is the number one culprit to make us to have uh, skin cancer. It makes us also look older too, mm, by the way. Unfortunately. But people want to look beautiful, right. but to be careful. And then all of a sudden you start to get that leather look, oh, right? Yeah, yes, yeah. right. Let's talk about some of the sunscreens that you would suggest. Yes. Uh, sunscreen is a protector, the, the sun. Well, you have see all kinds of products that you can get. I'm not promoting any one of them, mm -hmm. but you can see here this tube is, has a bigger word Number 30, mm -hmm. uh, that is the sun protective factor. And so rank from 15 to 45 or 60, because the higher the number, the more expensive, that means they protect you a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But products like this would shield about 95% of the uh, bad ultraviolet light. So living here in Arizona, do you suggest an SPF of 30 and above to um, protect us? I think that uh, uh, they, this already protect 95%. If you buy much higher numbers, you may shield to 97%. So it's your individual preference of what you want to buy. Yeah, but, but the fact is that you need to use sunscreen, whatever number you want to buy, and to use it consistently and frequently. Okay. Because they wear off. Yeah. Well, what about just strength? Uh, zinc oxide. When we were little in Chicago, I think we looked like a tribe from New Zealand <laughs> because we had all of our markings yes. all over with the straight zinc. Right. For the kids at the pool, would you go to that extreme or uh, a 50 waterproof? I, I think first, yes, I, I, I'm glad you mentioned uh, water resistant because kids jump in the pool, they are washed off. You sweat, they come off. So the water resistant uh, product will stay on more. Zinc it's just a lot more protection. It's, it's totally, you, know, you remember, it stick to you, mm -hmm. you know, and water just runs off mm -hmm. and it kind of bounces off the sunlight. So I think um, in a situation of you being outdoor a lot, like you climb the Himalayas, you, you know, something like this, yeah. that, that you just, you know, strong sunlight, you, you really don't have time to carry all this stuff. You know, maybe some kind of product that is better than our regular uh, things that we have here. Okay, the water resistance. Mm -hmm. And then you brought some hats here regarding some, <laughs> some clothing that we should yeah. be wearing. Well, of course, you know, um, people wear this a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, it protects, especially men without a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. The sun comes down, protects your forehead and a lot of your face. But this is good for general use, but you can see, I don't want to put it on, right. but you don't protect your ear, you don't protect your neck. And I do see a lot of patients that have cancer that, that develop in these exposed areas. And they okay. think they're wearing a hat, but yeah. then that's still so when sticking I go, out there. When I go hiking mm -hmm. or camping or outdoors, I wear this because it really protects very well. You, you can see, Yeah. I mean, you know, the, the whole face, the ear, the neck, yeah. and uh, you can go on for longer and you can protect yourself. Now, I don't think you need to go to extreme to buy uh, sun protective clothing. You can get them at places like REI if you're outdoor, but um, you notice that long sleeve shirt is better, mm -hmm. you know, because people wear these tank tops and then you pretty much get yourself all exposed. Okay. So uh, another factor is time. How long do you stay in the sun? All right. And uh, what time of the day do you stay in the sun? In the early morning, late afternoon, the sun is not so strong, but 
in the midday and you stay out there for hours, you get sunburned for sure. Okay. Oh, my. well, thank you for sharing all mm -hmm. that. Now, what about signs and symptoms? So I'm going along and all of a sudden maybe I notice something on my arm or something on my face yes. and it doesn't look quite right. What are we, what should we be looking for uh, if this could possibly be a, a form of melanoma skin cancer? Yeah, well skin cancer, they come in three, three common kinds. The basal cell cancer, squamous cell cancer, and this is a picture of melanoma. Um, mm -hmm. You, the one, on one side, you have some more normal appearing moles, really, mm -hmm. and the other side, they're irregular, they seem like to be spreading, they're bigger, and also they're different colors, uh, uh, not just purely one color. So okay. these are the things that you should take on as warning signs. Now, fortunately, melanoma is not as common as the other kinds. The basal cell carcinoma, they don't look like that mostly, okay, they're like pearly, little things and they grew for a long period of time, okay. fortunately. Spring cell is more, is a flatter and more spreading, but still these are common ones and they take a long time to grow. So if you notice some, some lesions or some nodules or skin discoloration that seem to change over time, mm -hmm. then you ought to watch out for it. There you go. And see your doctor. And see your doctor. Mm -hmm. That's key. And get it treated yeah. right away. Right. Because protection is the key to prevention. So yes, we absolutely. appreciate you coming down this morning. Thank you so much. And thanks for uh, protecting us from the sun. <laughs> You're welcome. We'll be right, right. back after bye -bye. this.